In this video, we will show you how we simplify the pack and stack step in the shipment consolidation process. The idea is to avoid long lists presented in a spreadsheet format and provide a graphical view that represents the actual situation and can be easily amended. After selecting the candidate items ready to be dispatched, one or multiple items can be put in the same box. Package type is selected from a predefined list of available options for that packaging level. Predefined packaging type helps to shorten the dock to stock cycle at the consignee's facility by reducing the need for repacking before storing the items. Connecting an item to a package mimics the physical action of packing. It is easy to break the connections and repack items in a different package when needed. Sometimes the quantity on one order line is split into multiple packages. This is supported by the line split feature. The system automatically pre-populates the quantity distributed evenly over the multiple split lines. Once all items are put on the first level of packages, the steps can be repeated to create another layer of packaging if needed. Our system supports five layers of packaging. In this example, we show the most common scenario for non-serialized items which is having only two levels, boxes and pallets. All the handling unit references are generated based on a predefined set of rules so that the manual entry of data is minimized. Although the system pre-populates the quantities and references, still the end user is in control and he can overwrite the details to stay in line with the physically consolidated shipment. Once the relations between multiple layers of packaging are defined, the shipment can be saved as work in progress for further changes or, once complete, it can be announced to notify the buyer or the contracted carrier for further collaboration.